Hildebo had delved into the ruin of Bleakforce Barrow and been faced by gruelling feats of strength as countless beasts and men had tried their hand against his warring skill. Delving further into the grim depths, Hildebo had no idea what trials he'd face, whether he'd make it out alive or even find this mysterious stone tablet. Hello and welcome, my name is Sparky and today we are carrying on on our adventure with little Hobo here in the horrible depths of this Bleak Wars Barrow, where currently we have faced a few trials of wit and also strength in the form of enemies, but what, what we are going to be doing, what, 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 is we are going to be carrying on into the depths, hopefully to find what we are looking for in terms of this tablet, or whatever it is. Oh dear. Hello there. You're the first enemy of this episode, and you're now dead. Right, so yeah, actually, uh, the cool thing about this... Ooh, an ancient Nord great so I thought that's what we were using. I'm just going to have to check this. Right, so what have we got equipped indeed? Apparently an ancient Nord great sword, But for some reason it glitched and said that I could have plus three on this other one. Okay, well anyway, we're going to ignore that. Very strange, but as I was saying, uh, we are luckily actually coming across quite a few of these new weapons that I've added into the game, which is always nice because it adds a bit of variety, but it also allows us to see perhaps, I don't know, narrow the gap, I suppose, in finding sort of higher tier weapons. If you see what I mean. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is that basically we're finding good shit that I can use to kill things. Okay, so we're going to take some of these glowing mushrooms, which are very pretty, by the way. Because I think, I might be right in saying this, but I can use these to create some form of health or regeneration potion. I think. Don't quote me on that, though, because I'm not completely certain. Oh, there's plenty of them as well, actually. So we're going to take all of these. And a chest! So we've got some gold, a minor magicka potion, potion of water breathing, and a scroll of fireball. Wonderful. Now the question is, which way do we go? I think, remembering back... Oh, hello there! Is he going to walk into that? Is that a bear trap? No, it's not. It's a bit of water on the ground, I think. But there we are. Right, so we're going to run around here. I'm probably going to meet him imminently. So we're going to keep our weapon out. Hello! Die! And actually, we've just increased our blocks level 16, which is quite nice. So perhaps we should start blocking with our weapon a bit more, that might be a good idea. Okay, so we've got an iron shield, and all this other stuff is absolute rubbish, so we're not going to take any of that. I'm actually pleased to see that people are still really enjoying this series. I've not done it for a good week or so now, unfortunately that's because I went away, um, so I'm a bit rusty. So please forgive me for my commentating and other stuff if it's rubbish, which is probably quite likely. Oh dear, I didn't take that. Okay, so there's a dead skeleton down. Ah! Okay, we just search these skeletons and completely ignore the massive chest of loot here. Ah oh, yes, because we got rid of our tower as well, didn't we? Which means that we now have to pick lock everything below expert's lock level. Which is fine, because to be honest it might help us progress through the levels a little bit. Which again would be quite nice. Speaking of levels, we've just leveled up. So let's do that now whilst we still can. Okay, so we've got 130 health, we've got quite a bit of stamina now. 145. So to be honest, I'm feeling health again. Because that is just boosted by something we're wearing, so it might be useful to boost that up anyway. Again, not focusing on the magic, because I really couldn't care less. Now, what we're going to put in this time, we could put it in illusion, although I haven't actually used any of that yet. And knowing me, I probably won't use it for quite a while. And also, I think, oh god, sticking with the theme of using two-handed weapons... I think what I'm going to do is perhaps put some more into the two-handed weapon skill. Ah, but we were actually going to do the heavy armour as well, that might be good. Yeah. That is a that is a good point. But what I might do, let's just have a look at the two-handed, because I might have unlocked some better skills with this. Although the chances are that I haven't. Okay, they cost less stamina, the power attacks, that's quite useful. Attacks with great swords have a 10% chance of doing critical damage. Attacks with Warhammers. I don't like the weapon-specific ones. I find those quite... I don't know, I suppose... See, like this. 
attacks with battle axes cause extra bleeding damage. It's very specific to that single weapon. If I end up at the end of the game just using a greatsword, for example, then I'm going to have pump points into all these three things for absolutely no reason, which seems a bit silly for me. Whereas power attacks, I'm always going to do. So the question is, do I put it into that? I could do. I mean, I'm going to have to eventually anyway, because I'm probably going to invest some into these next two. Should be nice. Let's just have a look at these. Uh, I can do a two-handed power attack while sprinting. That does double damage. That might be quite cool. Standing power attacks do 25% damage. That also looks quite good. Okay, so these are basically probably not that useful further on, but there we are. We've got that. That's what we're going to stick with for a little bit. Is there anything secret hidden behind here? No. There's a lonesome root. A lonesome root. Okay, now, hang on. Just before I get a bit turned around, this is the way we need to go, isn't it? So we can just put this away for a little bit. Save a bit of stamina whilst we're running. Grab a few more glowing mushrooms, because I'm sure these will be useful at some point. And if not, then at least I can make some potions with them and get that level up in order to progress. So either way, it's going to help. So you have to apologize. I have to. Oh, you have. To, you have to apologize. I have to apologize for um, also sounding a bit weird because uh, my mouth is a bit swollen, as my wisdom teeth are currently digging into my cheeks, which has made them swell up, which is lovely. I'm giving some very lovely images here, aren't I? Come on, friend. Okay, we've just upgraded our power attack, stamina, usage, so we can do a few more of these. Ah, oh, in the leg, like all the others. Yeah, it would be nice if we actually saw some different animations for that, but maybe we won't be too lucky with that. Now, there is a Nord Warhammer here. I know it's better than my greatsword, but it's a bit slower, so you could argue that it's not as good at all. Very easy indeed. Very easy. Petty Soldier. Main, minor stamina, not major. And high brace. I'm not going to bother taking those. No point taking something that I'm not going to wear or sell for anything useful at all. Okay, so we're level 6, which I think is alright, but it's sort of progressing fairly quickly still, which is good. I don't like to hang around in the lower levels. But as it is Skyrim and quite a long RPG, you can't expect me to do it too quickly, so I think we're doing okay. There's lots of linen wraps everywhere, I don't really think I'm going to take that. Unless I make a lovely, like, blanket. Oh, hello, a faded wraith. Okay, you're going to stop shooting me with that, or are you going to do it constantly? God, that was a lot of ice. Oh, damn, you are strong. You are a lot stronger than I thought you would be. But I'm just going to continue whacking you in the face, and then we can just heal up afterwards. Ow, although this does do quite a bit of damage to me. There you go, we're going to stab you in the ghost leg. Because apparently that's how it works. But yeah, the Faded Wraith, in, you, in case you didn't know, is actually one of the mobs that has been added into the game by the uh, pack that I added in. The mod pack. I'm going to use magic to heal myself, because otherwise it does seem a bit of a waste to be using um, some like restoration potions for no reason. Well, so people told me how to... There, let's try that again. People told me how to bind weapons to keys, but I've still not done that because it's been a while. I've forgotten until now, so you're just going to have to bear with me for another episode. I'm going to look at that next episode, so don't worry if that bothers you. Run. Ow. Right. Ah, hello there. You are going to die now. Your day has come to die. Again. Because you are sort of a zombie. An ancient Nord dagger. Blimey, that's awful. Okay, so let's go in here. See what we can find. Take these nice candles, darling. Decorate my house with them. Oh! Right, okay, so... <laughs> What am I doing? Our two-handed level is actually increasing quite nicely. Oh dear, I just picked up his weapon. Uh, I don't know if that weapon is actually any good either. What are you? Oh, you're a red drog. Oh, in the leg, again. Perhaps the way it works is you only get one type of animation with these new weapons that I've added in. I don't know whether they've been optimised to use all of the animations, so that might cause it. Maybe. I'd have to look at the mod pack, but I think that mo that would make sense, in my mind, anyway. Okay, now is there anything over here of use? Doesn't look like there is. 
And being impatient, Hilbo is very impatient. He likes to get on with it. He doesn't like sitting around. He wants to get back to his warm home. So we're going to run through here and ignore everything. Well, not completely everything. Things that don't look important. Okay. Well, this looks fairly ominous. And I think, if I'm correct, we need to use our hand majig in this door. So what we're going to do is, I am before I do this, I am going to look at it. Let's have a look. Where is it going to be? Uh, misc, probably. Where are you? Gold? G? Is it gold? Yes, golden claw. Let's have a look. What have you got on you? Bear, moth... Oh god. Owl. Bear, moth, owl. Bear, moth, owl. Man, bear... bear god. What was it? Bear, bear... Moth, owl. Let's just click all of them. Okay. That's not a bear. That's not a moth either. Bear, moth, owl. Perfect. And then we put it in. So that should do it. Yeah, it looks like it has done. Right. Let's progress onwards. I'd like to see if I could get this mission done this episode. I doubt that I will be able to, though, because it's quite a long one, I think. But we might be able to. Depends how difficult it is. And there looks like some scary coffins around. Which is going to be unpleasant. In fact, actually, this is, I think, near the end, speaking of which. So, let's just do it. Now, what I need to check is whether I have some health potions on hand just before I do this. Because then I'll know whether I can take a bit of a beating whilst I do this or whether I can't, really. Okay, we could actually apply Venom. Oh. I don't know whether that's going to affect a drog, but there we are. And again, what I might do is... Resist shock, that might be useful. Don't know if he uses shock though. Uh, let's. Hmm. Frenzy, what does that do? Nothing useful. God, we've got some. Oh, okay, we've got quite a few healing potions. I've got quite a few of those as well. Have we got any. Uh, strength? Potion of strength? Oh no. What's it called when you. Uh, the damage increase one? Oh dear. Alright, well I don't know, but let's just go for it, shall we? Those bats did not scare me. Batman! Where is she? Bane! Oh, Batman, you naughty fucker! Okay, well, we're gonna carry on and pretend that didn't happen at all. Hello? Okay, now these are gonna be good. Petty Soul Jam, Orcish Sword. Ooh. It's worth quite a bit, I might just take it anyway. In fact, uh, we should probably go and take this word of power. What is this going to be? Force. Unrelenting force. And now we've got to kill this guy. So let's do a nice few damage attacks to him. Okay, yeah, so he, he resists the poison because he's a dead motherfucker, so it doesn't even affect him whatsoever. I said, do your nice scream, you haven't even started attacking me yet and you're already dead. So that was nice. Ancient Nord Greatsword of Cold. Oh, that's nice. Although I am apparently carrying too much. The weight is 25 of the Dragonstone. Blimey. Okay, we're going to have to sort out what we have in our inventory. Right, so now I know I took a couple of weapons which I definitely don't need. We've got three Nord Greatswords. So <laughs> let's get rid of two of those. And we've got two of these, which I don't even think are that useful anyway. And in fact, that has cut down our carrying weight considerably to the point where I don't even need to worry about anything else, so that's nice. And I think we're pretty much safe to put this away now as well. So let's do that. Now, is there anything else hidden around here? Nothing behind this waterfall? Ah, there is! I didn't even know... One gold piece. Troll game. Troll game is troll. Okay, but we're going to get out of this hellhole because I'm fed up of being underground. Right! Well, we got, I was going to say our first word of power, but in fact, I think it might be our second, because we had the weird alternate start. But there we are. We're on the main quest line now, which should mean that we shouldn't struggle finding other quests that we want to do. I'd also very much like to join a Thieves' Guild. I think that'd be pretty cool, seeing as 
Hilbo is the 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 <laughs> what's it called? The robber? What was he called? The burglar? That's it. I'm trying to think of the exact word that um, Tolkien used in the books. Yeah, it wasn't robber. It was it was definitely uh, a burglar. A burglar hobbit. Oh, can we eat the burglar hobbit? Right. <laughs> I'm from London. Oh god, those trolls were so ridiculous. Anyway. Right. We're in the middle of nowhere. Apparently there's a cave over here nearby, which I wouldn't mind getting just so that we can fast travel over here again if we need to for some reason. Which might be a good thing to do. I don't know. Might be useful. Where is this cave? Is it on the other side of this mountain? Oh! Corundum ore vein. don't know if that's actually used for anything. Well, obviously would, else it wouldn't be in the game, would it? But, 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 we can now fast travel somewhere else. I'm not going to bother looking for that cave. I don't really care. So let's go back to Dragon's Reach and hand this quest in, see what we get from it. And I think actually this should... I keep predicting and saying what's going to happen. I'm sorry if you don't know what this game is, but I just assume that everyone watching already has played Skyrim about 50 times. But next is the mission where we get to fight our first dragon, which is going to be good. Hello. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the. I don't care, you soldier. Go and talk to the Khajiit or whatever. Whatever you do. Right. Hello, hello, honey. I'm home. I got your dragon stone for ya. You see, the terminology is clearly you. Oh, Delphine. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. That's Perhaps nice. Dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. That's nice. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Don't worry, my friend. You'll have many chances. <laughs> okay, let's just talk to this guy and hand it in. Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my Indeed way. I am. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so about my rewards. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. I bloody hope so. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered it. So I don't care. Was correct after all. Okay, so I'm talking to Delphine now, I'm assuming. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thank you. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Oh, hello. You need to come at once. Okay. You should come too. Okay, deep voiced lady. Exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this having a, a bit big more shit. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go up here. Are we getting our reward? That'd be nice. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You're looking very hairy today. Okay, God. Calm down. So, and now you want to talk to me. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Not now. Well, Not, now. Not, now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No. Not now. I was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought we'd come off to me Not for now. sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Thank you. Oh, you're talking to him. Okay. Better gather some gar There's no time to stand on ceremony. Oh, now you want to talk to me. I need your help again. I had this lovely I image of Hilbo just standing there prodding him in like the kneecap. You survived Helgen. Not now. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else. Here. Apparently so. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem. I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Oh, that's not a very good reward at all. Accept this gift from my personal armory. What is it? I've 
Ready. Order my men. Hide shield of major blocking. Good. Ugh, that is absolutely useless, but I'm going to sell it. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. With swords. What do you think? I'm going to sing them a pretty song and they'll fly away. Okay, come on, Irolith, or whatever your name is. Let's go and kill this dragon then. Come on, Irolith. Come on. Oh, sorry, I'm standing on your head a little bit. That was unintentional. Did you know that as a hobbit, standing on your head is actually a sign of flirtation? That I want to uh, <laughs> encompass you with my... God, I can't say that. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Oh dear. Right, now is there a, a quick travel location that we can just go to? I have actually been to the Western... Oh no, we haven't. But we can go to the White Run Stables, which should be a lot quicker. So let's just do that, shall we? I'm not going to hang around for these people as they trot through the city like little Nancy girls. But we probably will have to... Wait, is it telling me to... For God's sake. Meet Irolith near the... God damn it, Irolith. Such a pain. Just get some friends. <laughs> okay, well, here she is anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, she's just jogging on anyway. For God's sake. Okay, Irolith, you're such a pain. Just stop being a pain. Can we go and meet at the watchtower? What's it? And kill the dragon, please. Is this a horse that I can steal? Steal horse. He's a moonwalking horse. I must have this one. He's the rare black moonwalker. Oh God, I'm stuck in here now. Oh, <laughs> this didn't go well. My master thievery isn't high enough yet to steal a black moonwalking horse. Far too epic, far too epic indeed. Oh my god, the speed at which those guys are running there. Blimey. We should probably draw our swords so they know we're, we're meaning business over here. Come on, Hilbo, get it out. Not like that. Oh, actually, we got a new bit of heavy armour, didn't we? So let's put that on, shall we? Well, those boots are worth a lot of money. Why are they worth so much? Weight to one. 603. Blimey. But we can probably drop these. Uh, that's also worth a lot of money. Right, what are we doing? Uh, deft hands? Pickpocketing. Ah, that'd be good. Although, what is this? What did I just unequip? Enchanted ring? Increase your health by 20. That'd be quite useful, actually, wouldn't it? Right. Where are my boots? Steel cuffed boots. There we go. And we can now get rid of these iron boots, because they're really heavy. Hello, friends. How are we doing? You're not going to stand here and have a little talk? Unfortunately, half of you are probably going to die imminently. Don't worry, I'm sure things will happen. Bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. Okay. I'm sure this isn't going to be dangerous. Oh, look at the moon. Isn't that pretty? Hello, dragon. Are you around here, dragon? Now, I don't know what the best... Oh, okay, thank you, Arnold. I don't know where the best place is to actually attack this dragon. I think down here is pretty good. I mean, some people take it from the top of the watchtower, but I kind of prefer just stabbing it in the face, to be honest. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's going to land over here. Is he? You're going to land, you bastard. Yep, he definitely is. So let's not get eaten by him instantly. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that hurt. Can't even see anything. Blimey, that was unpleasant. Right, is he actually going to land? 
as is the way with Skyrim, you just got to wait for 20 minutes for them to actually land. Ow. Okay, yeah, I probably can't do this at this point in the game. Let's use a few potions, shall we? <laughs> okay, let's, let's actually put this poison of damage health on here. And also, let's do... Hmm, where is it? Healing. Yeah, these are rubbish healing potions, unfortunately. Right. So perhaps we shouldn't get that close. That'd be quite nice. What's his name? Mer Mermelnir. Mermelnir. Oh, hello. Probably not the best idea. Don't hit me with your wing, sir. Come on, fight back, you bastard. I can't tell whether that poison actually did anything. But we've almost got him. So there we are. And he's dead. Aww. Oh my god! I am absorbing his shit! Hilbo, you are the dragonborn. Gosh. Who would have thought that Hilbo... Hilbo Haggins from the Shire... Or was it the higher? I can't remember what I called it in the first episode. Is the Dragonborn. Okay, so we've investigated the dragon. Report back. Use your new shout power. Actually, we're going to take all of his bones and stuff. Wow. Okay, uh, these... Yeah, I forgot how much these weighed. Uh, guard armor. That's not useful at all. Those are worth a lot, so we're going to take one of those. And everything else is completely useless. Oh my god, you absorbed his dragon shit! Uh, let's get rid of some of our stuff that we don't need. Uh, we are wearing these, unfortunately, so we can't really get rid of them. Studded Imperial Armor. Weight 6. So, okay, we can get rid of that. We're still quite a bit over. Uh, so let's get rid of the Iron Greatsword, because that's not good at all. Iron sword, Short Sword as well is completely useless. Needs to lose two more. Uh... Oh, this would be good, wouldn't it? Look. Take five points of frost damage to health and stamina. Damage 21. We might as well use it, to be honest. And just get rid of this one. There you go. And now we're under the limit, which is wonderful. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. I am Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very old right, blind, tale, blind, blessed. There were still dragons in Skyrim. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Okay. Right, this is magic, I think, isn't it? Shouts. There we go. Unrelenting force. M4. That's right. Which button is that? Oh, cool. Okay. It's quite a useful position on my mouse. The dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. What manner of power is that? Just coming back now for the first time in forever. Forever. Okay, so let's go back and hand this in again. I suppose. Put report back to Yarl. I thought that you could teleport right outside his gates. Or are they stopping you from doing that this time? Yeah, probably stopping me. Oh, of course, because we've got to experience the shout from the mountain first, haven't we? It's going to go, boom! Oh shit, they want me. Not like that, but probably a bit like that as well. There you go. Dovakin! Who are you, Brenuan? I ain't done nothing. Yeah, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The gift of charity sure. added. The gift of charity. There you go, people. The gift of char Speaking of which, if you want to still donate to my charity event that I did, then just go on my donations page. It's on the last video of Extra Life. <laughs> and you could also receive the gift, the blessing of charity, but in real life, and then fall down a hole and die. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to end it. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave your comment below. And also, mainly leave a like, because that helps me know you want to see some more. 
and it really helps my channel. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.